Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our master window switch. For this, it's going to be easiest using a plastic trim tool so you don't have to worry about damaging your door panel in any way. Now there's going to be two push clips on this, one on the rear, and then there should be one up in the front as well. So all you want to do is just take that plastic trim tool, carefully squeeze it in between this area, and gently start lifting it up. Now I'm just going to hold this area. I'll come up here and do the exact same thing. And now we can carefully lift this up and start disconnecting our wiring from the back. For this, I'm just going to grab onto this tab right here and that's going to release those two ears. And we can slide this right out. Every time you remove an electrical connector, you want to give it a quick inspection. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. This one looks fine so we can continue with our installation. Now it's going to be time to go ahead and take our switch out of this plastic bezel area here. To do that, we're going to go ahead and turn this right over. And if you were to look at it along each of the sides, you're going to find some locking tabs. To start pulling the locking tabs apart, all I want to do is carefully get in between this area there and there, and then just gently start lifting it up. As I start lifting, I'm going to go ahead and start making my way down the entire side, spin it around, and do the exact same thing on the other side of the switch. Carefully separate the two. There's our original switch. Go ahead and set that aside. Now we can go ahead and take our brand new switch and we're going to put it into position. You can see the areas that everything needs to line up with. Go ahead and carefully rest that down on here. And then we're going to gently press it down, listening for it to lock in along both sides. All right, give it a quick inspection. And now we can get back over to the vehicle. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Listen for those two ears to latch in. Give it a nice tug to make sure it's secure so it doesn't fall off while you're driving down the road. Now we can just go ahead and take this. We'll put it in a position and start pressing it in, listening for a click. There we are. Now, of course, you just want to put the key in the on position and test your mirrors, test the windows, and make sure that the window lock works as well.